Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about budget overland gear. That's right, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars becoming an overlander. Today, I'm gonna to show you all the gear that I went and bought that is basically half of the name brand prices out there. So I'm gonna take you through all of that. Also, we are Amazon affiliated now. So if you see anything you like, I have all the links down below for uh, in Amazon. If you like anything, also, if you don't like anything, it shows you something else. If you go through our link, we still get paid for it a little bit. So that would help the channel out, much appreciated. Uh, also, at the very end of the video, I'll give you guys a life update for those you've been following along. So without further ado, let's get to the budget overland build. So first thing I wanna talk about here is a Samsung Galaxy Tab A tablet. It's an 8.0, .0, so it's an eight inch screen. They make a 10.1, uh, but they claim the 10.1 has a GPS in it, and this one doesn't, but when I got it, it does. You showed my location right here. If I can get this thing to scroll down, there's a location right there. So it shows you where your location's at. Uh, works quite well. Uh, we use Gaia GPS, tells us our elevation, use it for tracking, all of our stuff like that, because we plan to do Patreon later on. So I would give you guys all of our tracking, our locations and stuff and everything we go. Um, right behind it is this Macaulay stand. You can see it's a little it's a little wiggly, but it's only about 20 bucks or so, 20, 25 bucks, I can't exactly remember. Um, of course, you're not constantly staring as you're driving. It will wiggle a little bit like this, but once you stop, it's steady and you can actually go through it, look at where you want to go and stuff like that. And you can turn it to whoever wants to do the uh, navigation and look at it or just keep it centralized for both of you. I like it because I can get to my stick shift here, my four wheel drive. I can still get to all my uh, knobs my, and it doesn't block any of my vents or anything like that. See, a lot of people put these big old bars up there that cost it costs a thousand dollars alone just to hang a bunch of stuff off of there um, you can just use your phone i mean this is my samsung uh, now yeah samsung galaxy note 9 uh it's not that much smaller i guess but it is uh, it's nice to have a dedicated one of these though because this actually is a 32 gigabyte um tablet and you can upgrade it to uh, with the sd card i have up to 256 gigabytes in it you can go even higher than that but it's nice to build that with the guy at gps you can download a bunch of uh maps and stuff like that because you have to have it connect to your hotspot or wi-fi somewhere else and um that way you can download a bunch of maps before you go out but i really love my samsung note 9 here it's been over two years and this phone's been flawless so i have no doubt the, the tablet is going to work just as good a lot of people like apple but apple is going to cost this is like 120 apple costs probably three four hundred bucks for the same size tablet and no need for that and then i've seen more expensive cup holder mounts because this goes right in your cup holder you just kind of tighten this right here until it fits tight and that stays good it's just this and you can bend this how you want it as well back here you can curve it however way design you wherever you want to put it but uh more expensive ones cost more than this darn tablet so on a budget that works best next is the garmin inreach explorer plus i definitely recommend this especially if you're out there ways going far um, this is a little more pricey in the 400 dollars range uh, but if it saves your life doesn't really matter uh, you do need a plan to have this i do have a whole video on this whole thing uh, i think we pay like 10 bucks a month and we did the year-long plan but it gives you like 10 text messages uh, in and out or something like that uh, with through satellite of course you can do three preset ones which is i do and then basically when i get to a spot i just send those preset messages which don't cost anything to my dad he gets, knows exactly location wherever i'm at whatever spot i'm at he just knows uh, they do have a cheaper one version of these which doesn't have the gps the gps on this thing isn't uh, the greatest well the map isn't the greatest the gps is fine it works great but the map is pretty basic uh gives you waypoints and tracking so you can find your way back so that's kind of handy i would recommend doing that if you are a hiker this is better but if you're just using it for the satellite there's a smaller one it's a little cheaper you can go for also that's why with this if you get one without the gps you can actually bluetooth this gps into one of these tablets which is what we plan to do until we got this and found out that hey that actually has gps in it so we don't have to bluetooth this but we still use it for emergencies and whatnot so definitely recommend this guy as well now, one thing I did buy that's not so budget friendly is this the, uh, Blue Eddy. It's a, by Max Oak. It's the uh, EB150, which is a 1500 watt max, 1000 watt continuous. It's an all in one though. It's a 125 amp hour lithium battery inside it. It's already got the charge controller inside it and the inverter. So it's all in one uh, charge station. Uh, I see I have it pretty much powered on. I don't know if it's powered on right now. There we go. And she's full, but usually right here, I'll show you. I don't know if it's gonna show you, but there'll be input. Uh, how much you're using off a of dc and then right here shows you how much you're off your ac and you just have to hit these buttons hold them down and they uh click on whichever one you're using uh you can, of course you got four usbs one usb c and then um 12 volt where you plug things in from like your, your cooler or something like that and that's where you plug in to uh charge it with your solar panel and back here you also have your ac plugins you get two ac plugins right here uh this does run about 1200 bucks i think the link i have right now has it about hundred dollars off coupon right now but uh it is awesome um well, i'll get to in a second that my uh 
my cooler right there it will run three days and three nights off this one battery without charging it but if you of course you charge it it'll run indefinitely but it's an awesome little power bank to bring with you and i do definitely do recommend this as well now off the blue yeti which there are cheaper ones and uh stuff smaller ones that, that fit your need if you want you don't have to buy that big big of a one if you don't need to if you're just like a weekend camper or something like that you don't need something that big but for full time that's why we went that one but we use to charge it is this rock pals it's a 100 watt solar panel um it's an awesome solar panel for the price it's 209 dollars uh, i know renegy and stuff like that and other top solar panels it is foldable packable all that stuff i'll show you how small it gets it's very light and thin it fits away uh, and full sun power like this i have reached 117 watts of power of a 100 watt panel so i'm guessing it's a 120 watt panel they're labeling it as a 100 watt panel because there's no way it should be any panel is 100 percent finish efficient or more um, but for 209 bucks you get over 100 watts uh, so far it's been great um, on top of that there's also this extension right here you can buy these cords uh, i have a link for this extension cord in here as well nice beef extension cord did not lose any wattage at all uh, when hooking it up so it gives me a full 20 feet with this extension cord uh, something else i do recommend i haven't seen anybody else claim that they've got over what the uh, manufacturer claims is 100 watts uh, in any solar panel so yeah i want to show you that the actual uh, cinch cord fits nice in this little pocket right here on the side and right here is actually two usbs uh, that you can just plug your phone into if you wanted to if you didn't have this max oak char charge assembly right here you don't even need that if you have something just usb wise uh, just give you kind of a size comparison to the max oak it's very thin maybe 10 pounds of that uh, nice and light so definitely handy fits away if you uh, do something for a space saver of course eric everything here i am going to recommend i have actually gone through a lot of my stuff i bought things i didn't need and i've already gotten rid of so everything here i will recommend so another thing i recommend is this rock pals another thing i recommend is the uh, smitty built air compressor if you like to air up and down this guy he is a budget friendly paired to arb he is way cheaper um this is not an onboard air compressor which i've actually seen people Put this bolt this to inside their compressor or inside their engine bay and uh bolt it upside there so it kind of comes on board but it's not you have to cook next to your battery cables and all that uh only funky thing about this is that it has i guess these are weird uh no smitty built built in usa as far as i know but they have these weird Jap uh, japanese type connectors on them which i've seen a lot of people uh just kind of cut this connector off put a hose clamp on there and then use a, a standard usa type of adapter and then you can use any type of usa hose otherwise you're kind of limited to what you have here inside here so if it ever does break you can actually cut that or you know switch out this hose or whatever you want to do and it works it is a bit beefier but for 150 bucks actually it's just under 150 bucks it's capable of going to 150 psi and continuously 40 psi up to 40 minutes so you can easily air up and down all your tires uh, for 40 minutes it shouldn't even take that long actually use it once just make sure it works uh, it comes with this right here nozzle and then you basically just screw it on here uh, which is plenty fine for me i probably won't switch it out until this thing fails if it does fail but uh, i've seen people use via air uh, i just prefer something that's a little more name brand plus most of those are usually just equipped for if you get a flat or low tire air it up once but if you want something that's actually capable of airing up all your tires if you do it a lot this is something I definitely recommend versus a cheap budget build versus ARB, which is 800 bucks, I think, for most of those. This is 150, so why not go something cheaper, right? And of course, I gotta talk about the table that's been holding everything. This is a GCI Outdoor. Uh, you know, they're not super cheap. This is actually one that I'll say it's a maybe if you need some extra table, get this one. I do like it. It just happened to be the one I could find at the time when I needed a table. Uh, I do like that it folds up pretty slender and it's super easy to pack up and pack out, but I usually keep my uh, a Nemo Helio uh, water shower on here, which I forgot to bring out to you guys, so I'll do a little quick video, show you guys what it looks like, which I definitely recommend that Nemo Helio. That thing's awesome. It's a five gallon, uh, holds water, five, five gallon water, and then you can sh you shower, wash our dishes with it. I usually put that on here, do our dishes, clean off, uh, all that good stuff. That thing's amazing. So that one I do definitely recommend. I'll be showing you a video right here as we're talking. Of course what's a camp without a coleman stove everybody knows what a coleman two burner stove is or at least you most likely do uh, i like this one it does actually have a, a divot in it uh, for a cast iron skillet with a hand that pops out so this one actually fits and these wings that pop out so i found one on uh, amazon that fits it pretty close to it. it's a black one they call it something different but it looks just like this one this one seems to be working great as all coleman's do uh, I, and then this is the table i prefer this is when i'd recommend this coleman table uh, right here it's also collapsible. These all fold up basically in the twos. There's these little bars right here. 
that just kind of set right on top of here and then you put these little things right into there and this these don't even have clips or anything they just scrunches right together and they all fit into a little bag next we have this ropada shower toilet area whatever you want to call it but it's basically just a circle it's a pop-up tent type deal you unzip it there's some stakes in there you literally just throw it out and pops up and it's there in no time and i like this one because i'm 6'2 and a lot of them are not even tall enough for me to hit go in there this one's 83 inches tall which is uh, about 10, 10 11 inches taller than 6'2 so fits me just perfectly that's good for toilet or when i have the helio take a shower in it's great so and it's i think it's only like 45 bucks or something like that i can't exactly remember but not a bad price for it but it was one of the cheapest ones i can find for my height and of course the thing no man woman or overlander should be without a fridge this is the ice co vl uh, 60. they also make a 65 in the dual core uh, the dual core as you see it has these nice strong hinges opens right up nice and deep inside uh, the other one's not quite as deep or it's as deep but it's not that's where the compressor's at so you have a little slot can you there but it's it's a big it's plenty of room it's almost too big for what you want for two people it's perfect but if you're solo i'd recommend trying to find a little something a little smaller you don't need something this big unless you're planning on doing like two week ventures or longer out uh, the one i have down below doesn't have this cover but these covers you can get these covers on there they help uh, there's also a slide that comes with these that doesn't come with it but you can get for these um, I think they're about 250 for this slide. I opted out for the slide. I don't think I need it because I can actually open it in here, get to it just fine if my forerunner opens all the way up basically. This ice coat is only about 750 bucks. I say only, but compared to Dometic, Dometic's like what twelve, thirteen hundred dollars by the time you get it out the door. So that's substantially cheaper than a Dometic. And these come with a five-year compressor uh, warranty and it's super quiet. I think it uses about 53 watts when plugged in and only when the you know compressor is going. So like I said, I can run this refrigerator off of my uh, Blue Yeti for about three days and three nights before the battery is getting pretty much dead. So not too shabby. And of course, everyone likes to be comfortable, right? So we opted for these GCI Outdoor Rockers. They have a little socks on, um, socks on the back of there. Um, I don't like messing with bags and stuff like that. And I do like to have somewhere nice and comfortable to sit. They do fold up pretty nicely. They come with a strap in case you want to go take it to go fishing or something like that. And they have a little strap right here, which keeps them... Uh, clothes and stuff for you so nice comfortable chair basically all i could do is find a nice uh tree stump or something like that kick your feet up rock back and you're camping in style also up in our rooftop tent which is not budget friendly <laughs> we have this kelty two-person sleeping bag which i really like it keeps us pretty darn warm uh, they do have these extra little like little blankets built in them so if you can like layer up and layer down as you sleep if you need more and more or not but me and my wife both sleep on here very comfortably and our dachshund as well uh, we do have a, an actual sheet, other sheet we stuck in there, and then another sheet over here. But they aren't; they, these ones aren't cheap as well, but very high quality, very nice, and they keep you very warm. We just did a winter camping video right before this, and it got down to about 15 degrees. Of course, we had another sleeping bag on top of it. But I found throughout the middle of the night, I kicked that sleeping bag off, and I'm still plenty warm with this one uh, in the upper half of my body. So, And we have a 5 degree below it for extra insulation and comfort as well. And this is a Pomo Man, I guess for a poor man tire care kit. <laughs> it is made in China, but it is a well-made one. I know that's the main thing is these guys right here need to be strong. These are actually full steel all the way through. They feel strong. And if these do right here, these do break. There's two spares right over here. Uh, it comes with extra valve uh, stems, pliers, uh, air gauge, of course, plugs. Uh, you get extra valve stems, uh, uh, polar, uh, just everything you need. Some wax, I guess, for when you... Uh, going in and out of the tire to make it the hole a little bit bigger but this is only about 25 bucks paired to 50 60 for ARB so another half off budget friendly tire repair kit I do recommend there's that Coleman bag that fits all in there there's your dimensions basically 27 by 6 inches all the way around um, plus trash roux who doesn't want to trash roux uh, keeps all the liquids and stuff inside here um, I plan to have a spare tire or a ladder on the back at some point in time to put this in there but for now it kind of rides on top of here um, just going to go through everything of course right there's with solar panel fits um the coleman fits right in here between there too which is nice i had a, a three piece like big old plastic drawer thing in here but i couldn't ever get to these at all As my hands are always getting stuck in there um of course you gotta have a toilet there's our toilet some recovery gear over there um our camera gear we use is a gopro hero 7 which is i'm on right now this carries my batteries it's a max cam it holds three batteries in there it's very handy to carry around with you charges real easy charges all three batteries for you makes it a lot easier than charging through your, your gopro hero 7 plus i got the other stuff i use the road mic and the case and all that stuff on there so if you want to check out the camera gear i use that's down below as well 
Now over here, I got my tools, got some other essential stuff, just lighters, other matches, stuff like that. Of course, you gotta have your fly rods when you find a nice river to go into. Yoga mat to work out on, uh, some extra ponchos. Uh, you can buy these, Walmart, I think is where we got these. Uh, this heater, yeah, it's good for emergency. I'm glad I have it, but I probably won't use it. I didn't even use it when it was 15 degrees outside just because between the two of us, it was kind of a tight little spot. And this thing gets really hot and you have to let it cool off before you go to bed. Same thing in the morning if you want to pack up and go real quick. So it's good to have in emergencies, but unless you're really winter camping, we're camping, you got a lot of space. I don't think you really need it. Uh, of course, you always need a first aid kit. Uh, we got uh, protein powder. You never know, never know we need that. Uh, just essentials for Rusty the dog. Over here, we got a shovel. Uh, tri levelers which these are really nice to have i i know you can just find a rock or whatever which we use for the rear end but those are just real nice to go right up for the front and make it be even and um that's i don't have everything i have another one of these totes in here as well which we keep our cold weather gear in and stuff is and stuff like that but for most part that's exactly all we're really taking with us on the road so sorry if i'm talk a little bit quick I'm trying to get through these videos i know they're a little bit monotonous and tedious and stuff like that going through the gear but also, if you're new to this channel, I want to show you what kind of rig we got here. It's a 2015 Toyota 4Runner, in case you're curious. It is the trail edition, so it does have the locker and the crawl control and all that. Uh, same thing as the TRD off-road. It does have a 3-inch Toyota Tech lift. It's got 275-70, 17-inch tires, uh, BF Goodrich KO2s. Um, if these are, This is not a budget rig. <laughs> you can find older ones that are not too bad, but people still want a lot of money for these things. Uh, just look at Craigslist, you'll find out what they're going for. Um, we have a Roost, Roost USA rooftop tent. Um, I'll probably do a better review on that later, but so far we do like that tent as well. Um, but yeah, if you're new to the channel, we, this is not a normal type of video. We definitely do a lot of adventure video, traveling, driving around, uh, scenic shots, stuff like that. So if you're into that sort of thing, uh, give us a follow on all that stuff. Uh, 4Runner is a great vehicle. Uh, not the best gas mileage, 15 to 20 miles per gallon. Super reliable though, comfortable, and great off-road capability all in one. So if you're looking for an uh, off-road rig, they're not a bad one to look at. So if you like any of the stuff I showed you today, uh, remember to use those with affiliate links down below. They don't cost you anything. They're not, no markup or anything like that. They, we just get a little kickback if you buy from there. Once again, if you, even if you click on those links, you buy something completely different, as long as you went through that link, we still get a little kickback, so much appreciated. Um, I'm gonna get to our, why we're still here in Arizona here in a second. But if you like this video, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Um, help the channel out. We're almost to a thousand. Help us get there by hitting the subscribe button. Now let's give you that life update. Uh, as I talked to you last time, Caitlin's uh, grandma was in the hospital. Well, she just got out, was doing better. And then her grandpa just went into the hospital himself with COVID and he is currently on the respirator, on the uh, breather and all that stuff. And he's still on the breather right now. He is doing a little bit better, thankfully. Um, they've lowered, lowered the oxygen doubles down, so we're hoping to get him off of that. But he's got a long road ahead of him for recovery and all that stuff. And her grandma, again, had some uh, complications as well. Had to go back in the hospital. Found out she had COVID as well. So we're kind of all quarantined. As you see, I'm, this is quarantine for me. <laughs> There's nobody around. Uh, make sure I'm not getting sick. We're make sure we get tested before we get on the road again. Um, I wasn't really around them that much, but Caitlin's been taking care of her grandparents and stuff like that. So I'm going to quit saying we're going to go somewhere. Promise you anything. Uh, I'm going to give you some adventures around here once I know I'm clean. Uh, clean. Clean. <laughs> um, do what I can with that. Um, try to stay away from everybody. Uh, Caitlin just got tested as well. I'll make sure she's clean and then we'll pick you back on the road. Um, Some of you say, Why are you traveling if there's all this COVID? Well, you can get COVID anywhere. Doesn't matter where, long take precautions. Caitlin's been living in this stuff for the past year and she's been safe. She's a traveling CNA and all that stuff. So we know exactly what to do, all the precautions to take. Um, but you can't, I'm not going to stop. We're not going to stop our life with that. So if you want to stay with us, hit subscribe, hit like. Uh, we will get on the road here eventually again. But for now, thanks for watching. Take care. Keep those dreams been alive and all that good stuff. Thank you.